Hi, I'm Dina Kaplan. I'm one of the founders of Blip.TV, and I'm going to share some thoughts on what's going on in terms of digital media in 2011, especially when we think about the startups that are based in New York City. So I think there are three really interesting trends uh, for all of us to keep our eyes on this year. The first one has to do with location. We've heard a lot about Gowalla, we've heard a lot about Foursquare, but I think there's actually more to this than just hype. For a long time, advertisers have had pretty traditional avenues for reaching consumers. Uh, and then Groupon and Living Social and all those group buying sites made it possible for new businesses or really any business that wants to draw in customers to have a direct relationship with those customers by bringing them into the stores to get incredible discounts. It's sort of like bait for new customers. And that's been really, really successful. I think Foursquare will have an incredible opportunity to do this. So if you use Foursquare or any of these location-based services, you're probably starting to see more and more specials offered at different places that you're checking into or thinking about checking into. It's a really powerful thing for a business, whether you're a bar, a library, a cafe, whatever it may be, a sports arena, to be able to bring in new customers or maybe even a customer that hasn't visited you for a few months or a few years by saying, hey, if you check in to this venue on Foursquare, you'll get $5 off your first meal or something along those lines. It's giving places a new way to connect with customers or even customers they want to attract that is really, really powerful because the customers are not just seeing an ad, they're actually being immersed in the experience of the restaurant or the library or the bookstore or whatever it is. So I think this is the beginning of a very new and a very powerful way for brands to market themselves. And I think we'll see this evolve in really exciting ways that we haven't seen up until this year. The second trend that is incredibly powerful and evolving really, really quickly right now has to do with curation. So for a while, people only had a few options when they wanted to watch television, and then they had cable, and that was many more options. And now it's to the point where it can be overwhelming for most people. Which blogs to read, which Twitter feeds to read, which Facebook updates to look at. It's just all this media that's just barraging you absolutely constantly. So there's an incredibly powerful role for media companies and new media companies to serve as curators. And essentially, they are recommending content to you that you think you'll like, whether it's based on a certain vertical or based on your past taste or based on a whole variety of factors. So this new model of going from content being all about curation, um, creation on the part of media to being increasingly about curation is, is just about, not to use a cliche, but just about at the tipping point. So we saw Steve Rosenbaum come out with Curation Nation. I think this is probably one of the reasons that AOL was so interested in the Huffington Post, because the Huffington Post has proven itself to do a very good job curating content, not just on politics, but lifestyle, food, and a whole bunch of verticals, so that consumers trust that brand. So I think we'll see a lot of interesting ramifications from this. The third thing that's really interesting to think about, uh, and especially to think about how this will change search over time, is social media recommendations. So for the past number of years, search has really driven online usage, whether it's looking for a plane ticket or trying to decide what you want to watch or what you want to read. It's all been about search. I think we'll increasingly see social media drive content consumption. So that means that you'll get a lot of recommendations from both friends and from people that you trust, say a Jeff Jarvis on politics or another expert on comedy or on sports that you really trust to start driving content to you that you'll like. And I think we'll see layers built on companies like Bitly that will show you the most watched uh, video, whether it's a web video or a traditional media video of the day or of the week or of the month. Or we will increasingly see ways to track what text links are most being read by everyone or by your friends or by thought leaders. So I think it'll be really interesting to see how people consume content and whether they go more towards watching and consuming content that their friends recommend 
or experts. But I think this is why we're seeing so much noise from Google right now. And this is why I think it's so important for Google to really understand and get and build products based around the social media because curation and social media recommendations in a way are going to serve as the new search in terms of driving content to our eyeballs. So those are some things going on in the New York tech world, some thoughts to think about as we read the barrage of news coming out about digital media companies. And thanks for spending a few minutes with me.